This defensive drill we're going to be working on is built off of one of our staple exercises using our triangle drill. Uh, to make it a little bit more challenging and difficult, what we're going to be using are two rolled up pieces of paper. This gives uh, us a smaller object to be going through and, and doing the drill. If you have uh, <clears throat> little wiffle golf balls, I would encourage using those. Some with a much smaller diameter than a baseball. And the way this exercise is going to work is we're going to set it up and we're going to be working simply doing backhands. So the exercise, I'm going to start my pre-pitch routine. I'm going to go about it here. I'm going to cut around the cone. Obviously being a lefty, I'm simulating like I'm going over to third. As a righty, you're going to demonstrate it on this side. But as I come through, we're working because it's a smaller uh, object, getting as low as we can behind the target. And since there's two of them, we got to scrape our hands off the ground here, come up, and then through. Okay. So again, we're really working on staying low through our legs, getting our eyes, hands, nose behind the paper, and coming up and exploding through uh, towards our target. It's gonna look like this at real speed. And I'm coming through. Now, to make it a little bit more challenging, you can split the paper. That's gonna force you to stay through it even longer. So I'm here, I come in around, I'm here, you can see I'm getting through the paper much longer, through my target, okay? I'll do it at full speed, let's try it. Here, here, and right on through, okay? It's a great exercise, working on staying low, we don't want to get bad habits, we don't want to be bending here at the waist, like this, okay? As an infielder, we must stay low, get behind the ball as much as possible, great drill, to really work on backhands and uh, and getting leading with that palm and scraping your fingers across the uh, the turf, the carpet, whatever it may be. The next exercise we're going to be doing is a pop-up drill with our uh, tennis ball. This exercise, all you need is a wall, or obviously if you have someone to throw it to you, and it's built off of some of the drills that we've done in regards to our pick exercises. Except when we do this drill, I'm going to be nice and close to the wall here. I'm down, I'm in an athletic position, chest is over. I'm going to flip the ball underhand to the wall, okay? It's very important that we do it underhand. If I throw a tennis ball off the wall like this, I'm only going to really get one bounce. And we really don't want that in this exercise. If I throw it underhand, it's going to give me a nice little roll right back to me, which is going to allow me to do the exercise uh, a lot more efficiently. So the way this exercise is going to work, I got my, my glove hand down low. I'm going to flip the ball here, and that's it. Here, you can see, I'm controlling it, and I'm popping that ball right up in front of me. Okay, I'm right here, I got it out in front. I'm right here. What we don't want, obviously, is that ball coming back here, and you're trying to scoop it up. All it is is a slight little, little tap of the hand, pop the ball up right in front of you, and catch it. Just like that. Great exercise, again, hand-eye coordination, soft hands, just getting comfortable with, with our, our, our ability to move our hand, manipulate our sense of feel and touch, and it can be done in a nice, confined, small space.